Hey folks, welcome once again to yet another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. And yes, the world of beer is truly wonderful, even in these dark, dark times that we're in. Now uh, today, we're going to have a look at a brew that uh, I've never reviewed before. I have had it before, back in like 2002, well before my uh, beer reviewing days. It's uh, none other than Holston Premium, which is 4.5% alcohol by volume. And it comes all the way from Hamburg in the fatherland. So yes, a German beer that I haven't yet reviewed, but I do remember trying it, as I said, and uh, well, that was such a long time ago, it's uh, hard to say what I'd think of it these days. But anyway, um, I've been fortunate enough to stumble upon it uh, online, so I uh, ordered uh, a couple of four packs of it. Um, all right, so let's uh, crack open this uh, 500 ml can that's been uh, deep chilling in the Swill and Grog beer fridge for a couple of weeks and uh, give it a pour into this uh, mug. Okay. Okay, well, it's a very uh, clear, light golden appearance, quite effervescent. Uh, Nearly two fingers of bright white, frothy looking head there. Hmm, let's move on to the uh, aroma. All right, uh, getting a lot of sweet grains there. Yeah, not really your typical, um, you know, German pills or German lager aroma, uh, actually. Yeah, a lot more sweetness um, than you, you typically get. Uh, let me just top this up. All right, so we've talked about the appearance and we've talked about the aroma. So that could only mean it's time for the most important part of the review, the taste test. So uh, cheers to you all, let's dive in. Mm. All right, a nice hit of um, sweet Brady malts up front. Yeah, very tasty. Um, no bitterness to speak of. You know, it's quite crisp and clean. Got a nice little tang to it. I'm quite liking it actually. I need to have another gulp. It is my first beer of the day. Mm. Well, the body is somewhere between light and medium. Leaning towards light, actually, but it's um, not what I would call watery. It's very drinkable, and of course at 4.5% uh, ABV, you could uh, session it. Uh, the price point, uh, I don't remember exactly what I paid for it, but I don't remember it being too bad by uh, Australian standards. Yeah, um, it's a shame that uh, it's not so widely available here in Australia. I mean, I could get this... Uh, you know, obviously uh, through an online uh, beer store, but um, what you find is more in the abundance here is their uh, alcohol-free uh, beer. You know, they have the uh, alcohol-free variant of Holston, uh, you know, available at like Dan Murphy's and various other uh, liquor retailers, but they don't actually have the real deal, which is very odd, I must say. Yeah, but I do, like I said initially, I uh, remember a time when you could get this here. Um, it was you know, fairly easy to come by. I even remember uh, them giving me like a, when I bought like a six pack of these bottles uh, back in around 2002, they gave me like a, a six pack carrier. Yeah. Anyhow, um, I guess it's time that I have one final gulp of uh, Holston Premium, and uh, give it a score out of 10. Hmm. All right, well, um, all in all, it's got a different sort of a taste about it. Not your uh, typical German lager by any means, but yeah, still quite enjoyable. Uh, 
Yeah, I could drink a lot of this uh, actually. If it were um, readily available, you know, and at a good price point, then yeah, I'd probably buy it fairly regularly. It'd be part of the uh, beer cycle, to quote Jez. <laughs> All right, well, um, yeah, in terms of a score out of 10, I'd probably give Holston Premium a 9 out of 10. It's definitely one worth trying, folks. An excellent um, mass produced German lager. Radio, well, I'm just going to kick back and enjoy the rest of this, and I'll see you all in the next review. But uh, until then, fairly well. I'll